notice that? What's with the keys in there? She likes keys. Hence the key. Is that the key to your heart? Oh, it is. That's cool. No, no. I'm not gonna tell you what this key is. I know. <laughs>
director is Atli Kumar. He did Theory, which I've heard about. Uh, VJ, of course. And I don't recognize anybody else. I'm sure we do know them, though. Yeah, or uh, should. Huh. Let us know. It looks really interesting. I mean, it was like beautiful. So that's, oh, yeah. that's what Some struck me first was that it's how beautiful it was. Yeah. And then obviously the, the song sounded good. Uh, he looked cool. Uh, I still don't know the distinction between a musical and a, and a regular film. And from Bollywood? From, well, this is not Bollywood, but this is uh, from India. Yeah, any Indian film that would have musical numbers in it because so many of them have musical numbers and it's not a musical. Yeah, if, it there's, might... if there's any musical numbers in a film, it's a musical. Here in you know. Correct. Yeah. My my suspicion is that for an Indian film, and I think we've said this before, is that if the musical number actually continues to propel the story forward and isn't just a sidebar entertainment moment, mm -hmm. that it actually is telling the story more than it would constitute a musical. Or it also could just be something as simple as the number of musical like numbers. Like Rouge. Yeah. Each, or La La Land. Yeah. Each one tells the... Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, they're not just standalones. It's Moulin yeah. Rouge is a good film. Moulin Rouge is yeah, a good film. You haven't seen Moulin Rouge. It is a good film, That's as it. is La La Land. Um, um, so, yeah, anything and Singing in the Rain, those musical numbers, they can be standalone entertainment moments, but they, for the most part, are continuing to propel the story along. Mm -hmm. And I don't know the qualifications. And IMDb obviously doesn't designate it as a musical, but the teaser said this is an Ayurvaman musical. Not that he did the music, it says it's his musical, which would lead me to believe there's plenty of song and dance numbers where the story's continuing to be told. So the director is also the writer. Which leads me to a completely different aspect of the theater world in India. So for example, the theater world here in the States is, uh, and the film world are linked with Broadway. Theater's done in Chicago, theater's done in Atlanta, in Texas, in LA, but the big place is Broadway. It's New York. And many Broadway plays get turned into motion pictures. Les Mis, you can go down the list. Phantom, they're doing Cats. Is, <laughs> is there a... Don't do Cats. It, 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 what, do you guys get touring companies of Broadway shows? Is there a theater world that's really big other than in, say, conservatory or university studying? And which city is it in? Is it Mumbai? Um, are there different theater communities like there are here, no clue. And I'm mentioning that because most movie musicals in Hollywood began as a play. Most, not all, but few. La La Land was written straight for the screen, but Les Mis started off on Broadway. Uh, I, I would say 75% of all of Hollywood Sweeney musicals. Todd, Sweeney Todd, Todd. TV. Yeah. <laughs> what? This is a joke. Yeah. It was an after school special. Steven Sondheim was a uh, well-known screenwriter. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm interested just because it's the musical. Steven Sondheim is a very famous playwright. Genius. In case you didn't know. He's, He's written, written a few. Just a few things. Uh, Into the Woods. That wouldn't be my first one for it. That's my first thought about him. Is really? Into the Woods, yeah. It's the most recent film incarnation of his. Well, That's why. I'm thinking of his actual... Place. Well, Anyways, for you, uh, for also we, we've seen VJ in quite not a, not a lot, not a lot of seen, stuff, but enough that I we recognize him. But I got to be honest, I don't know that we know him well enough that if we just saw the trailer, we'd be able to say that's VJ. I, I don't know that I could do that. I have I don't know him that well. I know the name that well, one hundred percent. But I don't. Yeah, I because we haven't watched I, his film yet. I couldn't help but refer. Uh, Salam, Rocky, bye. When I hear that falcon or eagle, whatever it is that does that screech, it sounds like the beginning of that song. So, <laughs> yeah, that's that's on my playlist, and I've listened to it hundreds and hundreds of times. So, is that your favorite uh, song? No. That like of the songs, like what would be your favorite song that you've heard? Well, that's not fair because my favorite one isn't my my favorite one musically. I have some favorites musically that just get me amped up and pumped up, but my favorite song that's come out of the Indian films has always been and will always be Up That Dime Mm. It's just, that's the one. So that's, that's my favorite. Hajmola, Hajmola! <laughs> <laughs>